At the very beginning, you split the data into train, test, and validation sets. Train and validation data for training the model and test data for evaluating the final model. During the training process, there are three possible scenarios. Firstly, you get bad performance on your train data and get bad performance on the validation data as well. This is when your model underfits, meaning your model is too simple to capture the underlying structure of the data. We say the model has high bias. Secondly, you get a nice performance on your train data, but the model fails to perform well on the validation data. In other words, you get a huge gap between training and validation performances. The following is called overfitting. This happens when the model learns unnecessary parts of the training data, which do not apply to other data. In this scenario, we say the model has high variance. You may encounter two different types of overfitting. Either both sets improve simultaneously and then at some point validation performance starts decreasing, or both sets improve but with a wide gap between them. In the first case, you should stop training when you see that validation starts declining. The second case is controversial and more experience in the field is required to decide how to proceed. Sometimes, you may be okay with such overfitting. The third case is when you see both sets performing well. This is the ideal case. You want to observe such results in all your projects. There exists a concept of bias and variance trade-off, which is important to know. The error of a model in machine learning can be decomposed into three parts. Bias, variance, and irreducible error. When you decrease bias by making the model more complex, you typically increase variance. Conversely, simplifying the model to reduce variance tends to increase bias. The goal is to find a balance where both bias and variance are minimized, meaning a model that is applicable to new data as well and is complex enough to capture enough patterns. If you want to learn more about artificial intelligence, subscribe to our channel to be aware of the new videos. Press the like button and let's discuss AI in the comments section.